Yes. Hey, what's up? This is Rich Osweiler from premierguitar.com. Coming to you from Nashville, Tennessee. I'm at the DLS FX booth. Yes, that was Johnny Island. And I'm also here with Dave Sestito, who's going to talk to us about the new Rotospin brand spanking new for this show. Dave, how's it going? Good. How are you? Doing great. And Johnny, what's happening? How you doing, brother? Good to see you. All right. So, Dave, why don't you uh, start taking us through? We're going to listen to Johnny play a bit more, and uh, let's just kind of figure out what this pedal does, or tell us what it does. Yeah, it's our new Rotospin uh Rotary speaker simulator. It does kind of the Leslie 122 or 145 cabinets. It also can kind of simulate the old vibratone type of rotating speaker cabinets. Um, which it cuts through a little bit more than the Rotosim, which is our previous model. Uh, the bass throb is a little bit more adjustable and a nice little overdrive edge if you want to kick it in to give that uh, tube overdrive like the old Leslie M's. Killer. Well, why don't we, uh, let's just kind of take, uh, I don't know, a couple, three settings and and hear Johnny play a little bit. Johnny's the man. Johnny helped us beta test this thing, gave us some great feedback. We went back and forth, and uh, he's been a great asset to us. Cool. Well, I'm going to come over on your side, Johnny. Maybe you can tell me what you're, uh, what you're twiddling around there. Well, I'll tell you this, brother. One of the things I love about the Roto Spin is it's really e it's user friendly. So the minute you get the pedal in the, you know, when you order one, you get it in the mail, put it on your board, instantly turn it on, and it's going to rock your world. Right on. So the thing is, it's not easy to, you know, it's not that hard to set. Okay. It's an easy pedal. And so even right now, the way Dave has it set on the board, as you can hear, it's spinning real fast. But for a player like myself, you have access to this left switch where you can slow it down whenever you like. Okay. And as you can hear, it's a really nice smooth transition. So when you're playing, man, it doesn't sound choppy. It doesn't get broken up. It just sounds real natural. The other thing I love about this is the distortion side that Dave put in this pedal sounds real natural. So Dave, see if you can get the, uh, flip that distortion on there, buddy. And then this little knob right here sets how much gain you have. Okay. But it really does sound, you know, I've got it cranked up right now. Okay. And if you get the Leslie going. Right on. Real nice and natural, you know. So for all you Danny Gatton freaks out there, you will love this pedal as much as I do. I promise you that. Right on. Yeah, it's pretty insane, man. And, and you know, like Dave said, setting the ramp time and the bass throb and all that stuff. You know, I sat at home and just messed with it till I got what I liked. And then after that, you set it and you leave it. And then you just speed it up, slow it down and set your level of uh, distortion. And you're running off to the game, buddy. Right on. Well, guys, thanks so much. And now, Dave, uh, available now? Yes, it is. It's out, and uh, we do have some dealer stock, so we're ready to go. Street price? Uh, two fifty nine dollars street price. And uh, folks want to find out a bit more about the pedals, for our specs, where do they go? Uh, www.dlseffects.com. Easy enough. Dave, Johnny, thanks so much. This is Rich Osweiler for PremierGuitar.com, coming to you from the 2015 Summer NAMM Show. Thanks, guys.